So in this video, we're gonna see how to connect a VirtualBox VM to your actual PC using SSH. So let's get started. So first, uh, you need to have a working virtual machine in VirtualBox. Well, uh, it is not necessary to install the uh, the OS but you should have a wo working virtual machine so in my case I'm having virtual boxes here you can see virtual box and I've downloaded Ubuntu and this is not a server actually um, this is just a customized image of Ubuntu uh, no desktop environment or no graphical interface are in this Ubuntu OS just to explain you so yeah it's starting the virtual machine okay and so yeah it has uh, came here so when you just look at here it is showing a tty1 login and of course as it said before this doesn't have a graphical interface I just installed it uh, by customizing Ubuntu and let me log in with my user ID. Okay, and we're good. So let's just start by checking for updates just to see whether the SSH is in an updated version. So I'll do a separate video on Linux to how to connect a VirtualBox VM to a Linux distro but in my case uh, today I'm just gonna connect this VM to my Windows laptop so let's just clear this and first you need to make sure that you have installed SSH uh, server in your Ubuntu machine in my case it's Ubuntu but you can use any Linux so for installing that uh, in well, in Arch and Arch based distribution, it will be in uh, it. It is an inbuilt feature, so you need to just uh, I'll give the link in the description box. Just go and check Arch Wiki uh, about the SSH. But in my case, this is Ubuntu. For Ubuntu, you need to make sure that you have installed a package called as uh, Open SSH Server. So for that, just uh, if you have not installed, just install it by typing sudo apt install open SSH open SSH dash server and hit enter and if you see here I've already installed that so let's just clear this and now um, you need to start the service we need to start the SSH service so for that what you need to do is just just type sudo system ctl status SSH and hit enter and you can see that SSH is active and running so let's just clear this and now we have successfully enabled SSH server inside our Ubuntu machine but we have to change some settings in the virtual box to uh, make it uh, to make our PC to compatible with this SSH server so for before that let's try to connect this to our local machine which is my Windows laptop which I'm recording right now so uh, for that I'm just opening CMD not as administrator you should just open it normally and you can see that so I have a command prompt so and also you need to uh, just enable a service in Windows for getting into that so for that just open start and type features and go to manage optional features and in that just scroll down and locate a feature called as open ssh client so you can see that open ssh client is here i've already installed that if you have didn't just click add a feature and search for open ssh and and then just install it but you don't need the server okay you should just need the client so I have already installed the client so I'm just closing this uh, window and from here 
let's try to connect this so for that you need to know the IP of your virtual machine so for that there are several ways to identify that in my case I'm just typing IP a and you are getting this uh, but you can see that it is not showing the IP correctly it's just showing a three three to four digit numbers but it's not showing the correct IP address so for that uh, it's because of uh, the inbuilt firewall in our virtual machine it is enabled right now so for that we need to disable it so let's just go to virtual box and make sure that we've selected the virtual machine which we are running right now and go to settings and inside settings let's go to uh, network and network we, you can see that it has attached to NAT NAT just click that and just click bridged adapter and don't change anything here and yeah that's it okay so let's just click OK and then let's just clear this no no, no we're not going to clear it okay just type IP yeah and then also you cannot uh, even you have done all the changes but you cannot uh, see the IP address don't worry just type clear and then type um, sudo apt install net tools and hit enter so I have already installed that so clear and then from here just type if config and hit enter and you can see that in the inet I have the IP address of my virtual machine so from here what you need to do is just type ssh and the username of your virtual machine so in my case it is Siddharth it's my name so we need to type ssh Siddharth and at and my IP address the IP address of my virtual machine which is this here so just type the IP address one i two dot one six eight dot uh, twenty nine dot two two one and now hit enter and then type the password which you have set it in your virtual machine so let's type my password and bam so over here you can see that Siddharth at Ubuntu it is just showing that Siddharth at Ubuntu in the virtual machine and also in the command prompt. So let's just clear this and we have successfully uh, just linked our uh, virtual machine to our Windows command prompt. So from here what you can do is you can run all the Linux commands directly from your uh, command prompt instead of running it in a VM. So for example I'm just running okay so example I'm just running sudo apt update and type your sudo password and isn't that crazy you're running Linux in command prompt using SSH so it is just updating and yeah so let's just make it a bit more interesting so and bam we have this thing and also in the virtual box VM we have uh, the virtual machine so okay so this is magical so this is how you have to link your SSH virtual machine with your Windows laptop or PC I'll make a separate video later on to how to link your virtual machine with in Linux so so that's it for today guys I really hope that you in, that you learned something new in this video and if you want to see more please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon to get some notifications while I upload the new video every time and follow me in my Facebook page and also support me in my patron page and that's it bye